art and commerce. Yeah. So you were saying like you've exactly. thought about the economic model and like how, right. So I think there's a little bit, and this is just my personal opinion. So anyone listening to this, like take it with a grain of salt, hmm. but like there's just this, um, a, a, there's kind of like a, well, I'll just come around and say it. Like there's better ways to make money than making art. Yeah. Like, yeah. and art is the exploration of an idea commerce is guessing what people might like and making something from that place. Mm -hmm. And it's not like one is better than the other. They're, they're all good. Both are good, but you, one, it helps to be conscientious that there's a difference and to know the difference. And I think a lot of times with some of these like, um, success stories quote unquote and the way they're marketed and sold it's like you everyone just assumes i'm supposed to make money doing what i love and i think that's kind of a misstep like it's amazing if it works out yeah it's incredible blessing if it works out and and obviously that's the aim everyone might like that's a good aim to have but it's unrealistic. It's not pragmatic necessarily with well, all cases. It, right? Actually, I don't know if it's unrealistic or not, but it just hurts the art. Mm -hmm. Right. If your goal is to express yourself, right. there's no shame in working at Trader Joe's and then coming home at night and expressing yourself the way you would like. 